I'm Colin, and this is Sci-Fi Deep Dive. So, with Jedi Fallen Order out, I figured I'd give my first thoughts on the game, having played the first maybe two, three hours of it. Um, just give some insight into what I thought of it so far. I'll handle this like I handled the Mandalorian video. The first few minutes will be spoiler-free. I'll talk about things like game mechanics and game design, uh, and then I'll dive into some spoilers minor spoilery story stuff so if you want to avoid spoilers the first couple minutes should be fine and then when you get closer to the end of the video I'll make it very clear that that's when I'm going to start talking about story stuff and if you want to avoid spoilers that's your chance to click away first things first in reference to the video that I made last week does this game handle or perform at all like the force unleashed a game it's been compared to constantly since its announcement gameplay wise they're similar in some ways and different in others. It plays a lot less to the sort of you're incredibly powerful, you're overpowering everything around you feel that's in the Force Unleashed, and it does make you feel weaker and more vulnerable. You start the game with far fewer Force abilities and ways to dispatch enemies, so you're much weaker and it feels much more challenging. That being said, the combat is just as rewarding and just as fun. Uh, if you're familiar with the Force Unleashed controller scheme, try to get that out of your head because it's very different and I was having trouble with that. I kept hitting buttons that did one thing in Force Unleashed that did something totally different in Jedi Fallen Order. So uh, keep that in mind. Gameplay-wise, there were some puzzle elements too that tied in, which kind of reminded me of the old Tomb Raider games, but very specifically reminded me of uh, Zelda The Wind Waker. So maybe if puzzles aren't really your thing... Yeah, this, this might, that might get in the way a little bit because there are some points where the puzzles are pivotal to understanding how you're supposed to advance in the game. As for visuals, um, this is where the game kind of falls short. Well, aesthetically, it looks beautiful, but graphically and visually, it feels like it's five years behind what we have today. I noticed textures loading in very slowly, uh, pop-ins on textures. In general, the game just doesn't quite look up to snuff with other things coming out nowadays. Um, I also did notice some bugs. I had some little audio problems here and there. Overall, nothing that really affected the gameplay, but visually, it didn't really live up to expectations, and the audio was iffy at times. Just a brief, non-spoiler thoughts on the first couple hours of the story. It's engaging, it'll hook you in, and if you're into Star Wars lore, it's really worth checking out. There's so many things to dive deep into and learn and discover in this game. It's definitely worth giving a shot if that's what you're looking for. Something where you can really explore Star Wars lore more than any video game content, especially to come out uh, since the Disney takeover. So this is the point where I'm going to start talking about some minor spoilery things. Dive a little into my thoughts on the story that I've seen so far. Won't spoil anything too big, um, but... If you want to be completely clean and free of spoilers, maybe consider clicking away now. Um, so you've been warned. So the game, you play as Cal, a Jedi Padawan who survived Order 66, uh, and is working in a junkyard about five years after the events of Revenge of the Sith. After you're forced to use the Force and the Empire discovers that you're a Jedi, you're forced to go on the run. And that's where the game's story really picks up. The game feels pretty quick to throw you right into things. There wasn't a long opening cutscene. It was relatively short. And then it throws you into this little tutorial mission teaching you how to move around. The game pretty quickly introduces Imperial Inquisitors as a serious enemy and a serious threat. You end up part of a crew of a small ship. And your story begins hunting the necessary components to rebuild the Jedi Order. The things that really caught me off guard and really kind of surprised me story-wise being into the ships of Star Wars were the things we saw in the first mission. You're in a scrapyard dismantling things from the Clone Wars and it's almost entirely full of Venators. But when Imperial forces show up, we see probably the earliest appearance of a TIE Interceptor, um, this being five years after Revenge of the Sith. This kind of shows that the Imperial equipment that we see later on has been around for a lot longer than it was originally thought. Overall, I enjoyed the amount that I got to play tonight, and I look forward to playing more of it. Story-wise, it's captivating. The only gripe that I have is very quickly the game threw me into a quick time sequence, which 
if you watched my Force Unleashed video, that was one of my gripes with Force Unleashed. So far, I've only experienced one. Hopefully, there's not too many more. Um, but yes, there is a little bit of quick time fairly early on in this game. Overall, even though it lags behind visually and has some bugs and kinks that need to be worked out, it does feel like a playable experience. The story, especially if you're a Star Wars fan, is fascinating. It delves into bits of the canon that we've seen in Legends but haven't seen in canon yet, so it's definitely worth checking out if that's what you're looking for. If you're looking for something full of lore, it's a good option. Um, so if you like what you saw here today, want to see more sci-fi discussions, or want to hear me talk more in the future about Jedi Fallen Order, head down below, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon so you can get notified when I upload new videos. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment. Tell me what you've thought of the game so far. Have you played it? What are your thoughts? What do you like? What do you dislike? So I'm Colin, this has been Sci-Fi Deep Dive, and I will see you next time.